just shot a doe with a uh, K98 Mauser. This is a World War II bring back Mauser. Uh, it's still got Nazi stamps on it. Uh, the rear sight was exchanged for a, a Lyman peep sight. Somebody took off the, the, the sight halfway down the barrel. Of course, they left the front pyramid. So I'm shooting just a peep sight and front post. Uh, the shot was about 100 yards. And here it shoots with Southern Beloit ammo. It shoots about 10 inches high at 100 yards. So, and I had it on the bench and made sure I made a note of the zero. I'm just shooting the standard ammo. So, that was my shot. This is a uh, 8mm Mauser ammo. This is a 1937 rifle, probably used in World War II, that I bought at a gun shop. So, anyway, let's go see this deer. This rifle shoots 10 inches high at 100 yards, so I just put the tip of the front pyramid right at 6 o'clock, right in, under the doe's foreleg. She went down in place. I'm walking down to her now. Right down here close somewhere. Here she is. I'm going to have to finish her off. Shot hit her high through the backbone, probably. I'll have to check it in a second. I think I'll spare everybody this part and be back in a second. So it's 442 under kind of deteriorating conditions. Um, the rain's let up for a few minutes. I've got to get her out of here, get her skinned out, and done. But anyway, one. One shot and then a finishing shot with a ancient World War II rifle. Uh, they certainly do a good job deer hunting if you just operate them right. Looks like about the typical 100 pound doe. Now, of course, all the knife work starts. But anyway, e easy fun parts over with. Here's some of the hard part since I'm by myself to get this deer up. Looks like she goes about 104 pounds live weight. I shot the largest of four does, two mature does and two fawns. So uh, this is not for the particularly weak, weak stomach. I'm field dressing her on a, fixing to dump all the guts out into this bucket. Um, I got a live weight. I'm going to weigh her after I've got her field dressed, but with her skin still on, then I'm going to take the skin off. I've got a good sharp knife. I've really loosened up the skin everywhere. I'm fixing to pull all this back through the pelvis and take the guts all the way down to the bottom, uh, which is a pretty clean technique. After I get her weighed, then I'll cut the skin loose, pull it down, cut her head off, pull the jaw for the state. Um, I've got my state tag done. I've got my stuff I need for uh, record here on the doe tag farm done so she was uh, she had a, a fawn with her probably born in May or June she uh, still had milk still was lactating uh, so she was still nursing uh, this is, they're usually weaned by now or pretty close but I hadn't found exactly where my shot went yet because I haven't looked for it uh, but somewhere high through the shoulders probably broke her back and took her down in place Anyway, that's the story. Alright, I'm down to... All I've got to do is put her back in a cooler, close up the house, and, and get rolling. So, all those archaic skills, using an old rifle, uh, selecting an animal to shoot, being able to field dress and butcher a carcass and eat it later uh, may seem a little outdated to some people but you never can tell when you might have to summon up your inner caveman <laughs>